Hi everyone and here we are with our very first video and it is related to speed, distance and time. So now let's read our problem first and then we will try to solve it. The problem statement says a truck travels at a speed of 64 km per hour heading towards town A. Three hours later a jeep traveling at a speed of 96 km per hour begins its journey from the same place. When does the jeep catch up with the truck? Here we have one assumption that both the vehicles are traveling at the constant speed, right? Truck is traveling at the 64 km per hour constantly and the jeep is traveling at 96 km per hour constantly. Truck starts first and three hours later a jeep starts at a higher speed, right? The speed of truck was 64 kmph and after 3 hours, Jeep is starting at a speed of 96 km per hour. Since the speed of Jeep is more than the speed of truck, it will definitely catch it up. So now let's try and solve this problem. So I have drawn the road and let this be the starting point for both the vehicles and let this be the town A. They are moving towards town A so they are moving in this direction. Right? So this is the truck which starts from here and truck is running at a speed of 64 kmph. Right? and it is running towards this direction and in 3 hours it will reach somewhere here. Right? And what will be the distance from the starting point till the point where he reaches in 3 hours? Yes, it will be 64 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3 fours are 12 1 carried forward 3, 6 are 18 plus 1, 19. So this will be 192 kilometers. Right? And at this point of time, one jeep starts from here at the speed of 96 kilometers per hour. And when Jeep starts from here, truck is already here. Right? Truck has reached here and now Jeep is starting from the starting point in the same direction but at higher speed. Right? Yes. Now let's assume that both of them meet somewhere here. So they are meeting somewhere here and when are they meeting? They are meeting after T hours because both the speeds are given to us in kilometers per hour. So they are meeting after T hours when Jeep starts, right? And in those many T hours, the truck is traveling this much distance. Truck was already here in three hours and at this point, Jeep was starting from the starting point, right? And Jeep is traveling this much distance in those T hours and truck is traveling from this point to this point in T hours. Why? Because we have assumed that they are meeting after T hours, right? So, if we consider the total distance traveled by truck and total distance traveled by a jeep from the starting point that is actually same. Right? So how to solve this problem? So now let's find the distance traveled by truck from this point to this point. How much is this? It is 192. The distance traveled by truck before the jeep started plus distance traveled in T hours 
at the speed of 64 kilometers per hour. So this distance traveled in T hours at a speed of 64 kilometers per hour will be 64 multiplied by T, right? And this distance will be equal to the distance traveled by Jeep in T hours, right? So what will be the distance traveled by Jeep? It will be the speed of Jeep that is 96 kilometers per hour multiplied by the time and that time is t hours so 96 t right now let's solve this so if we subtract 64 t from both the sides this side on the left hand side 64 t will get cancelled and we will have 192 is equal to 96 t minus 64 T, right which will be equal to 6 minus 4 2 and 9 minus 6 3 32 T right so 192 is equal to 32 T that means T will be equal to 192 divided by 32 right this we got by dividing both the sides by 32 since both of them are even numbers so they will get divided by 2 2 ones are 2 2 six are 12 2 nines are 18 2 six are 12 right and this will get divided by 4 so 4 4 is a 16, 4 2 is a 8, 4 4 is a 16 and 4 6 is a 24. So what we got? We got T is equal to 6 hours. Right? So this is the solution for the time when they meet. So they are actually meeting 6 hours after this cheap starts from the starting point so they will meet somewhere here after t hours the jeep starts and we can also find the distance traveled by both of them and what will be the distance yes in six hours how much distance the jeep travels will be the distance from the starting point when they meet right so now let's calculate that so the distance will be is equal to speed that is 96 multiplied by time they are meeting after 6 hours the jeep starts so the distance traveled by jeep in 6 hours at the speed of 96 kmph will be 96 multiplied by 6 and this is equal to 6 6 are 36 carry forward 3 6 9 are 54 plus 3 will be 57 so they will meet after 576 kilometer from the starting point and the time taken will be 6 hours right so this is the solution for the problem given to us